Yeah, I'm uh, Carl Sandberg, I'm the head of automotive engineering at Solmark. Claus Olsson, I'm a uh, controls uh, student. And why don't we talk about why we're here, which is um, this vehicle here, it's a 9.5, but it's fitted with some special gear, and why don't you uh, just take a seat in there and talk us through it. Uh, first of all, we have the, the motor, which uh, controls the steering through a gearing, which is mounted behind the original steering wheel. Right. And this is uh, this whole system is used for open loop testing of vehicle dynamics. Right. Which means for the person who isn't a, a student at Chalmers University, what does that mean? Uh, you want to to verify that your, uh, for example, like electronic stability systems work as intended, and you want uh, a very specific input to the steering. So you want, uh, want it to turn left, turn right, yep. and then back, and exactly the same every time. Okay. And that's to, to verify that it works as it should. Right. And so what we've been testing here today, we've been following a set loop. So you program a route into the computer and the computer tells the car to follow that route and automatically steers for you. Yes, it does. Yeah. And, and when you got this car, when you two guys got this car, you basically got a clean 9.5, didn't you? So you've had to yeah. install absolutely everything. Yes. Yeah. Which is no small job, I would imagine. A, a pretty big task. It's a bit tricky to get the, the different systems working together. Yeah. But we had some issues with the GPS inertia sensors and the robots. So there's basically three systems that has to operate mm. to know, to give the car or the robot the information of where to go. What was it like the first time you were in it, you know, holding those switches and uh, watching it steer itself? We were driving very slow, but <laughs> it was still a bit, it was more. Actually, the first time it worked, we were pretty surprised that it worked so well. Right. So we felt quite confident in in letting the computer control the steering. So. Right. And how long did you spend, sort of like in in simulation, sort of tests and everything before you actually drove the car? Say half a year. Half a year. Yeah. Wow. Or four four and a half months. Right. So just while we're on this straight here, I'll just explain to people we've got a switch on the window there and a switch down there. It basically operates like a dead man switch. So if you release one of those handles, the car steers straight, correct? Yes. And if you release both, then it's back to manual steering. That's how the switch system works. I'm gonna go a bit faster in this corner now, if you're ready for that. Uh, okay, I'm holding a handle. I'm gonna keep this speed about. And we're still on the same path. Yeah. And so the computer behind this just calculates your speed and judges the angle of steering accordingly. Again. Yep. <laughs> oh. And it has to stop us at the same at the same okay. spot, yeah. I just moved halfway across the back seat <laughs> involuntarily. <laughs>